Down in the blackest depths of the ocean, where sunlight taps out, pressure turns bones to dust, and the food chain is one giant horror show, life still finds a way. But not in the cute Disney movie kind of way. Down here, evolution has gone rogue, churning out creatures so bizarre, so unnervingly alien, that they make your worst nightmares look like bedtime stories. And while we waste time mythologizing the Kraken or Nessie, the real monsters are already lurking, glowing, shape-shifting, and sporting teeth sharp enough to make a great white look underdressed. So, if you thought land had its share of weirdos, wait till you meet these 15 deep-sea creatures that have no business existing, but do anyways. Let's start off this list with Number 15, Anglerfish If nightmares had a mascot, the anglerfish would be a top contender. With a face only evolution could love, this deep-sea predator lurks in the crushing blackness of the Atlantic and Antarctic oceans, thriving as far as a mile below the surface. There are over 200 species, ranging in size from a measly few inches to a respectable three feet long. But size isn't what makes them terrifying. It's that gaping, needle-toothed maw and the eerie built-in fishing rod. Only the females have this sinister lure, an extension of their spine tipped with bioluminescent bacteria that flickers like a deep-sea neon sign. The trick? Wiggle it just right and unsuspecting prey swim straight into their doom. The males, on the other hand, are tiny, useless in the hunting department, and latch onto females like biological leeches, fusing with their mates until they become little more than sperm factories. Romantic? Not quite. Effective for survival? Absolutely. Number 14. Chambered Nautilus. Some creatures survive by evolving. The chambered nautilus survived by staying exactly the same for over 500 million years. Basically, it took one look at the evolutionary arms race and said, nah, I'm good. And honestly, it works. This deep sea cephalopod, found in the Western Pacific and the coastal Indian Ocean, spends its days chilling at 2,000 feet below sea level and its nights gliding into shallower waters to feed. Unlike its flashy squid and octopus cousins, the Nautilus is a slow-moving relic of a prehistoric world. Its biggest flex? A beautifully spiraled shell is divided into gas-filled chambers, which it inflates or deflates to float or sink like a biological submarine. But for all its elegance, the Nautilus is practically blind. Its pinhole camera eyes have no lenses, meaning it relies on its 90 sticky tentacles to navigate and snag prey. It's like a living fossil, a floating time capsule of an ancient ocean. And somehow, it's still here, unchanged, unimpressed, and utterly fascinating. Number 13. Whiplash Squid If an alien probe ever decided to vacation on Earth, it'd probably look a lot like the whiplash squid. This deep-sea enigma hovers around 4,920 feet below the surface, assuming a vertical position that makes it resemble a floating spectral tuning fork. Why? Scientists are still trying to figure that out, but the best guess is that it's a sneaky way to blend in with the endless blue-black abyss. Unlike your average squid, the whiplash variety prefers patience over speed. It barely moves, using its fins to hold position while waiting for an unlucky snack to drift into range. Some species even sport bioluminescent photophores, little glowing spots on their skin or near their eyes, because nothing screams deep sea nightmare like a creature that lights up in the dark. For decades, the only proof of their existence came from dead specimens washed ashore. It wasn't until deep-sea submersibles captured live footage in 1992 that we finally saw one in action. Even now, they remain a mystery, their ghostly presence haunting the depths like something out of a sci-fi horror flick. Number 12. Common Fangtooth If the Deep Sea had a Most Likely to Terrify award, the Fangtooth would take the crown despite being barely seven inches long. 
This little horror show lurks as deep as 16,000 feet, where the pressure is so intense it would crush a human in an instant. But somehow, the fang tooth thrives, proving that size doesn't matter when you've got those teeth. And let's talk about those teeth. Absurdly large, needle-sharp, and so over the top that the fang tooth physically cannot close its mouth. That's not an exaggeration. It's like nature gave up halfway through and just said, Hey, good enough. Scientists aren't even sure how it hunts. Some believe it's an aggressive predator that chases down prey, while others think it prefers an ambush strategy. One thing's for sure. Whatever gets caught in those jaws isn't getting away. But despite its terrifying look, the fang tooth isn't a threat to humans. Unless, of course, you have nightmares about tiny deep-sea monsters with oversized fangs. In that case, good luck sleeping. Number 11. Cookie Cutter Shark The cookie cutter shark doesn't just hunt, it steals. Instead of outright killing its prey, this little shark carves out perfect circular chunks of flesh like a deranged ocean pastry chef. And no, it's not picky. It'll take a bite out of anything that moves. Whales, dolphins, other sharks, submarines. Even human bodies recovered from the deep have been found with its signature wounds. Living around 1,000 feet deep near the equator, the cookie cutter shark is small, just 19 inches long, but its impact is far from tiny. It's a parasite, latching onto larger creatures with its suction-like lips before digging in with razor-sharp teeth. The result? A creepy cookie-shaped crater that leaves its victim alive but deeply regretting the encounter. Its dark collar and glowing underbelly create the ultimate illusion. From below, it looks like a harmless little fish, luring in predators that think they've found an easy meal. Instead, they get a chunk taken out of them. Well, they are cruel. Number 10. Viperfish If there were an award for most unreasonably terrifying fish, the viperfish would win hands down. With a set of translucent, needle-like teeth so massive they don't even fit inside its mouth, this deep-sea predator is pure nightmare fuel. Found as deep as 9,000 feet in tropical and temperate oceans, it spends its days lurking in the abyss and ascends at night to hunt. But it's not just about brute force. Viperfish are master tricksters. Much like the anglerfish, they have bioluminescent organs along their body creating an eerie glow that lures in unsuspecting prey. And if the light show doesn't do the trick, no problem. These lightning-fast swimmers can launch surprise attacks, skewering their victims on those ridiculous fangs. Despite its horror movie appearance, the viperfish maxes out at just a foot long. But don't let its size fool you. Anything unlucky enough to cross its path won't be around long enough to regret it. Number 9 frilled shark. If sea monsters were real, they'd probably look a lot like the frilled shark. With a long, eel-like body, gaping jaws, and a mouth lined with 300 serrated teeth arranged in 25 rows, this prehistoric relic has been haunting the deep ocean for millions of years. Found at depths of 1,600 to 3,280 feet, it's one of the most elusive creatures in the sea. Unlike most sharks, the frilled shark doesn't lunge or bite. It grabs and swallows. Its flexible jaw can expand to devour prey whole, even those half its size. The way it moves, slow and serpentine, only adds to its eerie legend. Some scientists believe the frilled shark might have inspired old tales of sea serpents. Strangely enough, no one has ever seen one eat in the wild. It's like a cryptid that actually exists, lurking in the darkness, waiting to remind us that the ocean is still full of mysteries. Number 8. Lanternfish In the deep sea, where light is scarce and danger is everywhere, the lanternfish is basically a living glow stick. With bioluminescent photophores scattered across its body and snout, it produces its own light. A critical advantage when navigating the inky depths between 1,300 and 3,000 feet below the surface. By day, these tiny fish, just 1 to 6 inches long, stay deep. But at night, 
they ascend closer to the surface, sometimes as high as 82 feet, to feed. But they're not just another fish in the crowd. Lanternfish make up a massive part of the ocean's biomass and are an essential link in the marine food chain. Tuna, squid, whales, penguins, you name it, they eat lanternfish. Unfortunately, they also mistake plastic for food, which means those toxic microplastics are now working their way up the chain into larger predators. A tiny fish with an enormous ecological impact, both good and bad. Number 7. Giant Spider Crab If you have a fear of spiders, look away now. The giant spider crab isn't just big, it's the largest known crab species on the planet. With a leg span stretching up to 12 feet, a body that can grow 16 inches across, and a potential weight of 40 pounds, this thing is basically the kaiju of crustaceans. Living 500 to 1,000 feet underwater, mostly in Suruga Bay off the coast of Japan, these crabs are slow-moving scavengers with a diet that includes literally anything, from decaying fish to plant matter. Young spider crabs even decorate their shells with sea sponges and kelp to blend in, proving that style is key to survival. Despite their monstrous size, they're not the apex predators of their domain. Larger sea creatures like squid hunt them. But with a lifespan of up to 100 years, these ancient arthropods have clearly figured out the secret to staying power. Number 6. Northern Wolffish Meet the northern wolffish, part eel, part nightmare, and all attitude. Found in the cold, deep waters of the North Atlantic, 328 to 5,577 feet down. These fish aren't just built tough, they literally have antifreeze proteins in their blood to survive frigid conditions. With a face that only a mother could love, they sport powerful jaws lined with thick, crushing teeth, perfect for annihilating hard-shelled prey like crabs, sea urchins, and mollusks. Unlike most fish, wolffish don't have swim bladders, so they stick close to the rocky ocean floor, lurking in seaweed beds like some underwater cryptid. Growing up to five feet long and weighing as much as 40 pounds, these solitary predators are as fierce as they look. And if you somehow manage to reel one in while fishing, good luck. Their bite isn't just powerful, it's downright painful. You'll probably want to throw it back before it decides to fight back. Number five. Bluntnose Six-Gill Shark The Bluntnose Six-Gill Shark is the definition of deep-sea royalty. Clocking in at nearly 16 feet long, this beast roams the ocean's depths, sometimes as far down as 6,500 feet. Unlike many sharks, it doesn't stick to one region. It's found all over the world, proving that when you're built like an underwater tank, territory is just a suggestion. What sets it apart? Besides its prehistoric, slow-moving design, it has something no other modern shark does. A pineal window. This weird, light-sensitive organ on its head acts almost like a third eye, helping it detect even the faintest traces of light in the pitch-black depths. A voracious predator, this shark takes down everything from dolphinfish to rays, and even other sharks. But despite its imposing size and power, humans have little to fear. It tends to keep to itself, preferring to patrol the ocean floor like some ancient living fossil. Number 4. Giant Tube Worms The phrase, life finds a way, has never been more true than with giant tube worms. Found a mile below the surface near hydrothermal vents, these bizarre, alien-like creatures thrive in one of the harshest environments on Earth. The vents they call home spew scalding, acidic water laced with toxic chemicals, yet tube worms grow up to eight feet tall like some kind of deep-sea forest. But here's the wild part. They have no mouths, stomachs, or digestive systems. Instead, they survive through a symbiotic relationship with bacteria inside their bodies, which convert the toxic vent chemicals into usable energy. Basically, they're living proof that nature is full of weird loopholes. 
First discovered in 1977 near the Galapagos Rift, tube worms remain one of the most extreme examples of life adapting to conditions that should, by all logic, be uninhabitable. Yet they thrive, proving that the deep sea is as strange as it is resilient. Number 3. Oarfish If there was ever a creature responsible for sea serpent myths, it's the oarfish. Growing up to 56 feet long and weighing a staggering 600 pounds, these ribbon-like giants glide eerily through the depths. Usually 656 to 3,280 feet down, and rarely surface unless sick or dying. Instead of scales, oarfish have smooth, gelatinous skin coated in guanine, giving them a reflective metallic sheen. Their long, flowing dorsal fins and undulating swimming style only add to their mythical reputation. Despite their terrifying size, they're completely harmless, surviving on a diet of plankton and small sea creatures. They're rarely seen alive, but when one washes ashore, it's usually enough to spark panic and resurrect old seafaring legends. Whether they're deep-sea drifters or the closest thing we have to real-life sea monsters, one thing's for sure. If you ever come across an oarfish in the wild, you'll never forget it. All right, guys, now let's talk about... Number 2. Dinner Plate Jellyfish Gliding through the pitch-black depths 2,300 to 3,300 feet below the ocean's surface, the dinner plate jellyfish is more than just a drifting ghost. Unlike most jellies that passively wait for food, this predator actively hunts, chasing down zooplankton and even other jellyfish in a rare display of aggression for its kind. Captured on camera by the Okeanos Explorer near the musician's seamounts, an underwater mountain range north of Hawaii, this jellyfish represents a tiny fraction of the bizarre little documented life forms lurking in the deep. Scientists had barely studied this region before, and every dive revealed new species and strange behaviors. With its glowing, alien-like appearance and unexpected hunting style, the dinner plate jelly proves that even the simplest creatures can be full of surprises. So, never judge someone by its size. Number 1. Squat Lobsters Neither lobster nor crab, squat lobsters are deep-sea misfits that thrive in the darkness, burrowing into ocean floor crevices up to 8,579 feet down. More closely related to hermit crabs, they lack hard protective shells, relying on their surroundings for cover. Most are blind, soft-bodied, and scavenge whatever they can find, including some of the weirdest meals in the deep. One species, Munidopsis andamanica, feasts on dead tree falls and wooden shipwrecks, essentially digesting wood. Others feed on whale bones and turtle shells, proving that in the abyss, nothing goes to waste. Despite their tiny bodies, their claws are ridiculously long, often extending several times their length. Left exposed outside their hiding spots, these claws serve as a first line of defense against anything that dares to challenge them in the deep sea scavenger wars. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.